Hello my darlings and happy Valentine's Day So as you may know, I do not have anyone to take me out on a date today So I am gonna take myself out And I'm gonna go to a coffee shop that I can go to with the bike And I'm just gonna read a bit there Maybe also gonna bring my journal Right now I'm just doing a little bit of makeup Not like crazy a lot just a bit to feel a little bit alive you know and yeah i'm still reading the hate you give so i'm gonna bring this book backpack because it's just easier to bring that than a purse so I'm gonna bring my wallet this is a hand-me-down from my mom and I love this wallet it's from the brand Fossil and I think it's a really good brand I like it anyway and then I'm gonna bring my headphones maybe gonna listen to a podcast too or like on the way even though you should not be listening to music when riding a bike but I always do that, it's so much fun it feels like you're, you're in a movie, you should try it, but be careful and then I'm gonna bring my glasses because my tears... no, my eyes start tearing... tearing? is that how you say it? I don't know, but tears come out of my eyes when I ride a bike and then that's not good. I'm gonna bring my pens, these two here for journaling. I'm gonna bring my journal and then I'm gonna bring my book and lip balm and that's everything. Let's go! Grandma went babysitting, so she's not here. And I'm gonna cook lunch for me and my grandpa. And I'm just gonna cook some veggies. And then here, and then here we have some salmon. So I'm gonna make that. And we also have some leftover rice that I'm gonna warm up. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. a bit later and I want to paint something now and I thought I could paint shoes I want to paint these shoes these Adidas they're just great so I'm gonna paint them and I'm gonna paint with watercolors I kind of always paint with watercolors I always tell myself I am 
alone but not lonely but then again it like am i not lonely i don't even know what is the difference between being lonely and alone like is alone just alone by choice and lonely if you're alone not by choice because if it is like that then i am lonely because most of the time i am alone but like not really by choice like i do enjoy my company a lot and i like doing things by myself it's just my situation and i try to make the best out of it i think right now it's just not the chapter in my life to be social not my choice to be by myself but the situation is my choice you know like i made the decisions in my life that led me to my situation if that makes sense i think you always have to make compromises and that's just one right now for me but you know if i could go back and make different life decisions i don't think i would even though i'm not super happy with all the consequences that came with them i need to stop talking i'm running myself bath right now i haven't taken a bath in so long i think last time was November and I thought that could be also a little like self-care thing for me on Valentine's Day yeah also wash my hair and stuff we had dinner before and we just ate some bread and salad I already did my skincare, like most of my skincare, but I'm gonna put on some face oil now to do my gua sha routine that I have been doing a lot. The bath was very nostalgic actually because it kind of reminded me of when I used to live alone with my mom. Like we were alone, my mom and I, until I was six years old. And we were living in a very old apartment and the bathroom was like kind of right next to the kitchen and then when my mom used to like cook dinner she would put me in the bathtub and she had the drawer open and stuff so she could like check up on me so i wouldn't drown but i just remember like hearing her make dinner and stuff that's kind of a nice memory i don't know why it's it's like so specific but I don't know i think that was a very successful valentine's day who knows what next year is gonna be for valentine's day maybe i'm not gonna be alone who knows i'm now just gonna watch some gilmore girls because that's what i do gilmore girls is just my comfort show i love gilmore girls i don't know how many times i've watched it to be honest probably too many times it's a little bit embarrassing like it's getting a little bit pathetic but it's fine i'm fine with that i'm fine with the patheticness of that i can live with that it's okay i have started gossip girl but i do not really like it i don't know i just i like the vibe but i just think it's too much drama like gilmore girls is enough drama to be interesting and entertaining the gossip girl is just annoying drama in my opinion it's too much for me and then what else did i watch oh um, a show that i adored and binge watched was queen's gambit such a good show i love chess i have to say i really love chess i play chess almost every day with my grandma I love chess it's really fun and the Queen's Gambit is just so it's so good like I really recommend that show I didn't watch many TV shows I need recommendations I cannot give recommendations I watched Riverdale when I was in seventh grade that was an era itself that was an era and then I watched Outer Banks was a vibe too but it's more of a summer vibe of 
course but it's it's fun but then it got a little bit weird and then i stopped like I, the last season i have not watched yet i'm not sure if i'm gonna watch it oh wednesday i loved wednesday and i'm really excited for the next season but i'm not sure if it's gonna be as good at as the first one because the first one was so good so like my expectations are high but anyways i think that's all i watched i think i'm just such a re-watcher like i watch something almost every day but i just watch the same things over and over again like harry potter and gilmore girls and that's it and then i watch youtube re-watch things too many times anyways I'm gonna watch some Gilmore Girls now and then go to bed. So, good night. Thank you for spending Valentine's Day with me. You are my Valentine's date. I will talk to you very soon. Bye! Look out, I'm coming through. This was all the dogs, Kirk. Well,